I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question on equation of planes. The question here is determine the vector equation of a plane which passes through a given point 1 3 0 and which is perpendicular to the vector 2i plus 4j plus 5k. So, so on the plane what we are given here is a point which is 1 3 0 and we are given a vector that means this vector is perpendicular to the plane right so we are given a vector which is uh, 2i plus 4j plus 5k now this happens to be the normal vector since we want to make it perpendicular to this right so perpendicular to the plane. In other words, normal vector, correct? So we do have standard Cartesian form of plane. Let me remind you of that, which is AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals to zero. Now here, A, B and C are the coefficients which you see there normal right so so a b and c are the values 2 4 and 5 right directly right so so now we know from here that a b c is basically equal to the normal vector which is 2 4 and 5 correct now the question is how to find d to find D, we are going to use the point 1, 3, 0. Is that okay? So to find D, we are going to use X, Y, Z as equal to the point 1, 3, 0. Does it make sense? So that is going to be our strategy. So I hope that's absolutely clear. So i like you to actually pause the video at this stage and find the equation. Okay. So we can say that the plane which we are talking about should be written as 2x plus 4y plus 5z plus d equals to 0. To find d, we are going to use the point 1, 3, 0, right? So, so the point here is x, y, z, which is given to us as 1, 3, and 0. So if I substitute that, I get 2 times 1 plus 4 times 3 plus 5 times 0 plus d equals to 0. Okay? So from here we can find what d is. So it is 2 plus 12 plus d equals to 0. So we can say d is equal to minus 14. So that gives us the equation of the plane which is 2x plus 4y plus 5z minus 14 equals to 0, right? So that becomes the equation of our plane. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So that is the Cartesian equation. Well, we need to find the vector equation of the plane. Now, to get the vector equation, what should we do? Direction vector within this particular plane right so to get the direction vector we will actually move on to the next page and then uh, continue with this so we'll continue in the next sheet right and provide you with the vector equation now let's continue and get the vector equation right so the idea is to get the vector equation we have already derived the cartesian equation of the plane as 2x plus 4y plus 5z minus 14 equals to 0 right so that's the equation which we just got now let us see how to get the vector equation from the cartesian equation I will actually take you through a longer process. We will first get the parametric equation. 
and then we'll get the vector equation okay we could have got direct vector equation by finding two more points here which could be the intercepts and their directions will give us two directions we are we have a point so we could get direct vector equation also from here however i'll prefer to use uh, this example to show you how to get parametric equation and then the vector equation okay so uh, to get the parametric equation let me define parameters when we say parameters we are saying that we'll write in terms of s and t so let us say that y is equal to s and z is equals to t so if we make that substitution then we could write this plane equation as 2x plus 4s plus 5t minus 14 equals to 0. Now I can isolate x from here so we get 2x equals to 14 minus 4s minus 5t or x is equal to dividing all of them by 2 we get 7 minus 2s minus 5 over 2t. Now that gives you parametric equation for x, right? y is s for us, so we could write y as equals to 0. We have here plus s and uh, this is 0 for us. And as far as z is concerned, it could also be written as t, which makes this as 0. Plus, since z is just t, we get 0 here and we get t correct now that becomes the parametric equation do you realize that x y and z we have written so this is parametric equation correct now from this parametric equation we can actually write the vector equation see how this becomes your point right this is a new point okay that is your point and the two direction vectors are right there and these are your two direction vectors so let me show you how to write the vector equation from here so we can say the vector equation of this plane could be written as the point which is 700 0, 0, plus the one of these parameters is we can write this as s which is minus 2 1 0 do you see that 1 and 0 and then with t we can write parameter as minus 5 over 2 0 1 right 0 1 so this becomes your vector equation perfect so that is how you can get your vector equation now vector equations are not unique you can get many equations right you can also make an equation with your point but let me uh, rearrange these values and write it as a separate vector equation where i could also write this as 700 0, 0, and we could actually take some other parameter making this value as positive so we could also write this as s times 2 minus 1 0 and we could also change this to we do not prefer fractions right so if I multiply everything with minus 2 what happens we get 5 here right 0 remains as 0 and that becomes minus 2 right so that could be uh, another vector equation for us 
correct so you could get another vector equation. you could have gone directly for the vector equation from the Cartesian equation by taking few points one of them is given to you the other one taking y and z as 0 gives us 7 0 0 right so that is the x-intercept 7 0 0 you can write another point as y-intercept and then write down the vector equation so I'll prefer you to write the third equation using three points okay so three points will lead to two direction vectors right I'll provide you with one of my videos which shows all these methods I hope that helps Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.